Since April, when the NRA succeeded in intimidating enough senators to vote against the modest background check bill introduced by Democratic Senator Joe Manchin and Republican Senator Pat Toomey, momentum has been gaining for groups opposing the NRA. Alec McGillis writes in the New Republic, the defeat did not, as pundits predicted, cause the activists' momentum to dissipate. Instead, it turned out to be a potent recruiting tool in the days after the vote. Moms Demand Action saw a 30% increase in membership. Gabby Gifford's group has raised an astonishing $11 million from 53,500 donors in the past four months. Moms Demand Action has continued to hold protests at the district offices of lawmakers they believe are persuadable. Joining me now is Alec McGillis, senior editor of The New Republic. Alec, uh, what what do you do you see here uh, an, an arc of opposition to the NRA that over time is going to be financially competitive with it? Oh, definitely. I think what we're seeing right now is the, basically the emergence of a of a serious opposition of the sort that we haven't seen ever. Um, the, the, the NRA has been outspending the other side more than 10 to 1 in, in politics. Exactly. And now with Michael Bloomberg on the scene, not just Michael Bloomberg, but also Gabby Giffords, who, yeah. as you said, raised $11 million in four months, which is an amazing sum. You have the ability to to come back on the other side and and basically try to shift the calculus uh, to the point where candidates who who vote the wrong way vote against gun control are are facing serious repercussions at home these ads that are running against Kelly Ayotte, Jeff Flake are pretty harsh ads. These are, the, these are the kind of repercussions that were simply never faced before and and you start to you see politicians start to maybe rethink what is the what is the sort of well we're watching Kelly Ayotte rethink it live as right. she walks through uh, these exactly. microphones in New Hampshire right the the problem for for Bloomberg and for Giffords also is that they the timing is a little bit off the, the people that they'd really like to target are not up for re-election for yeah. a couple of years but you is, made a, a, a fascinating point I, I thought the NRA was more powerful than what I am about to read here from your work that in the in the last uh, Senate elections the 16 Senate races that they participated in, they lost 13 of them. Exactly. I mean, I think that this is the thing about the NRA, and this is why the emergence of this real opposition is such a big deal. Their, their power has always been overstated to some effect. This goes back to 1994. This is, this is where when, the, when their legend started to, to build up was in 94 after the big midterm loss for the Democrats mm -hmm. that year. Uh, Bill Clinton and others concluded that the reason for the loss, the story of that loss, was that the NRA had, had done it. This had nothing to do had nothing with the, to do the fact with the that they did the biggest exactly. tax increase in, in tax, history. Tax increase, yes. <laughs> uh, all these other things, the, the, list, the scandals that were popping up. No, the convenience story was, was guns. I always and, thought it was the tax bill. And, I mean, I worked in the tax I, bill. I didn't work in the gun no, bill. So I thought that's and, the thing and that And so this, this legend grew up out of that, which, which uh, basically for, for almost two decades kept the Democrats from taking on this issue. Even though you're starting to see these signs that 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 the NRA simply wasn't as powerful as a legend might might hold. Uh, you have all these senators. You've six, seven, eight senators who, from uh, tough purple red states who've yeah. been winning consistently with F F ratings, and no one really took notice of that until recently. And you're starting to see people starting now to think, wait, can I maybe get away with with supporting sensible gun control? And that's the key here. You have people like Joe Manchin. I mean, I was mm -hmm. down in deepest deepest West Virginia with Joe Manchin in, in, in these counties that Obama lost by 50 points. And you have Joe Manchin down there after this vote lost, talking gun control. Still, still. working it. Exactly. Yeah, he was on this program still working right. it. Alec McGillis gets tonight's last word. Thanks, Alec. Thank you.